Hello and good day ladies and gents, Mo Monocle here with another unboxing video and I didn't think I would have another one of these so soon after my first one, but I got a few new cool things and I just wanted to share them so I figured I would make a video and uh, just talk about them a little bit. It's nothing too crazy, but uh, let's just get right into it. So. There are two items here that I'm going to be showing off today. We're going to start with this one because as you can see, it's a bit bulky. So I just want to get this one out of the way. But this item is a soundtrack for a game that I'd played uh, quite a while after its release. So any extras that came out with the game uh, were already sold out by the time I was interested in them. But luckily eBay exists. so. I had really wanted this soundtrack and it was released twice as a vinyl, but I just perused eBay for a good deal and it's the soundtrack for a short hike. And I'll also link a somewhere up here, a uh, review that I did for the game. It's a beautiful, beautiful game. It has a really good little story. It doesn't take long to play through at all. But as you can see, even the cover for the vinyl is amazing. And this is the music by Mark Sparling. And it's the original soundtrack for a uh, short hike. So we're just going to open it up. I'm not going to leave it sealed. I'm not crazy or anything. Um, I really want to be able to play the vinyls that I have. Um, I will have another one coming soon for Eastward. So I have a little collection of vinyls starting to pop up and I'm just really excited to be able to play them. I don't have a vinyl player yet, but I want to want have one very soon. I got it a little bit unwrapped. I always want to try to be pretty careful when I'm opening stuff up because I don't want to tear anything. I can be a bit, I don't know, clumsy, I suppose. So there it is, unwrapped, perfect. And we'll just like open it. Oh my God, look how cool that looks. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. And then there's a backside that has the map. That's so cool. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, A Short Hike is an Adam Robinson U game. As you can see here, oh, it's so hard for you to see. One second. Oh my god, I'm fucking up the camera. But <laughs> there is some writing down here, so I'm just going to read it. A Short Hike is an Adam Robinson U game. Original soundtrack by Mark Sparling. Mastering by Ohad Nissim. And art design by Saffron Aurora. Very, very cool. So this is the back side. Obviously you have this. It says this way beside a super cool i'm just going to just take this out and try to show you the art in here obviously we have side a each buds somewhere in the woods see you at the top snow lots of snow hello a short flight and then for side b we have somewhere in the woods long hike race me nap time and boat buds and then i'm just going to try to show you the art here Look how spectacular that is. They're roasting weenies by the fire. That is um, the main character. And I believe it's her aunt. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And uh, oh, really cool here. You'll be able to see it's 305 out of 500. So there's only 500 ever made. This is kind of a, I guess you could call it a rare piece of uh, art. So I'm just going to take this out very carefully. It's supposed to look amazing. Look at that. Oh, damn, that's so cool. Oh, there's a there's also a version. And then this, uh, let's see. Let's see. Side B. There's also a version that's pure blue. Now, I initially wanted that, but this one is equally as cool. It's very, 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 very cool. 
But uh, yeah, the beach, I, sky blue, I guess is what you call it. I think they call it the beach blue or something like that. But uh, so that is our first item. It's honestly, I'm so happy with it. It was such a good deal. So we're just going to tuck this away. Nice and gentle. And at some point, um, maybe I'll play the tracks. Like I have the original soundtrack digitally um, and I've played it several times during our streams. So yeah the short hike soundtrack i you know what and i may even get the other version of this vinyl just to have both because i really like both versions of it even though they're technically the same but uh it would just be really nice to have so that is this first item i wanted to show you guys all right next is an item i'm very excited about because it is something that is practical. I can use it, and I will be using it, for a stream. It is a themed item. <laughs> and I'm not going to give it away, but we'll just open it up, and you get to see what it is. We'll take all this bubble wrap off. Okay. So. What we have here is a little piece of merchandise from Nintendo and Hall Laboratory. If you don't know those two companies, you might not have a guess for what this is, but this is something that is Kirby themed. Uh, it's actually a super cool box. I really like it. And uh, it's obviously from Japan on the box. We have Waddle D and Kirby. Two cuties, so let's just... There's not a lot of plastic, which is good, but in here there might be. So what this is, is a pancake maker. And these are the instructions, so I'll just set those aside. And I hate styrofoam, so I'm going to try to be okay with this. It literally makes me cringe when I touch styrofoam. Okay. There's one piece out. I hate the sound. I hate the sound. And another piece. Now this is super small. Um, these are for tiny pancakes, clearly. So we'll put that there. Uh, there was just, I think, a piece. I don't think this is anything else. Yeah, this is just a piece of cardboard. So we're just going to get this box out of the way. But it is a really nice box, honestly. Like, it, it's got a nice pattern on it. Nice, broad font and a uh, couple a little pictures of our buddies Kirby and Waddle D so let's get this thing out of the plastic and there we are nothing too crazy but how does this work I should probably look at the instructions not that they would help okay we got a piece of styrofoam in there so the bottom of the pancakes will be Kirby well depending on, I mean, either or, it could be top or bottom. But then there's also Waddle Dee's face on the other side that is so cute. So I'm not exactly sure, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know if I should pull it. Hold on, Let, let's, one minute. I'm gonna consult the instructions really quickly. Okay, so essentially I think what this is right here is simply to grab the maker and open it up i'm not exactly sure i mean obviously i can't read japanese so uh i don't know how to do it but it's it shows some sort of cleaning instructions right here like you can unlatch and then you can take out the unless this is supposed to resemble a pancake oh no it's a pancake i see i see you just clean it normally i thought you could take out the little cake irons but they're just showing you taking out the pancake okay this is it and there's this Really cute Kirby and Waddle Dee art on there. Um, you know, you have this little flat stand so it stays level. And there's nothing more to it, really. That, that is it. But it's honestly, like, pancakes like the size of my, kind of my, my palm, if you, if you look at it that way. And I think I'm very excited to make some Waddle Dee Kirby pancakes. So that will be fun. And I will try to, like, get some fruit and stuff, make it look really nice. 
I don't know how you can make something more Kirby themed besides having, uh, I don't know, cake. You know, what are, what are some of Kirby's uh, tomatoes? That would be weird. Tomatoes are Kirby's favorite, but this is a really cool little maker. I thought it would be bigger to be honest, but it makes, I would say the proper size, like this is a good size for a pancake. Like if you think of it this big around, it's kind of like the, the size of my, more of just my palm, but like that's a good size pancake. It's not too big and it's, it's like a perfect size. I, I love it. So that is the Kirby and uh, Waddle D pancake maker. So those were the two items that I wanted to show off for you all. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, make some pancakes with the Kirby Maker. Obviously, I'm not going to use it all the time. I think I'm going to gently use it and maybe bring it out for special occasions or maybe for a cooking stream or two. And then there was also obviously the short hike uh, yeah, vinyl. It's so cool. <laughs> I stopped talking because I just I love admiring it. It's just a very nice piece of even just like the cover is Really really nice to look at and I'm I find myself getting distracted, but there it is again I'm Gonna cover my whole face. There's the map. I really like the front though. The front is really cool. It's so awesome I'm so glad that I got it and then I will I will show the inside just one more time because I think it's I think it's worth showing so back here There's the there's the inside It's so hard for me to like peek over it when I'm trying to show it off But I'm I think I'm getting better at these unboxing videos, but uh, You know what? It's it's a work in progress So I will continue if I get cool stuff. I think I'm gonna just continue to do these they're lots of fun but uh, you know it'll be maybe few and far between or maybe I'll just be getting cool stuff all the time I do know that I um, will have be having a opening for there is a eastward board game that is coming out with some other stuff included as well as a vinyl soundtrack so I really do have to get on getting an actual uh, record player so I can enjoy these vinyls that I'm starting to collect. I never thought I would start a collection like that, but it's happening. Anyways, on that note, ladies and gents, I appreciate you joining me today. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. So bye for now.